We first create the project with Cargo New, and then we open it. First, we add a couple modules that we're going to be using, TCP Listener and TCP Stream from the net package. Next, we create the TCP Listener and bind it to port 8000. The incoming method on the listener returns an iterator of the connections being received by that listener. We'll create a separate function to handle each stream as it comes in. For this first step, we'll just return a 404 error so that we can confirm that the response is coming through correctly. We can use Rust's format macro in order to get the string in the format that we need for the HTTP response. Finally, we write that response to the stream in order to complete the response. The write all method needs the write all method requires the write trait. We can bring this in using the prelude from the IO package. I have one last compiler missing a semicolon. And then we can start the server and we curl it. Here we can see the 404 not found. In order to parse the path, we'll need to use the regex package, so we add it to our cargo.toml. Now we create a buff reader that reads the stream and use that buff reader to read the lines off into our request line variable. Here's a sample HTTP request string. We'll use the regex to capture the different pieces of it. Now we can use the captures method to pull off the individual captured strings. The path name can be found at the second index of our captured strings. And then if you look in the logs on the server on the left, you can see the correct path name coming through. Now we can use the path name that we've pulled off of the request in order to figure out which file we should be serving up. So by default, we will use index.html. And if the path is not the root path, then we'll remove the uh, starting slash. And generate the full file path. So we'll be pulling our files out of the static folder. This is relative to where your project currently exists. First, we check to make sure that the file exists. If it does, we swap the status over to a 200. We need to bring in the path module. Make status line mutable in order to change it after. And then we use the FS module in order to read the file using the path that we just generated. And again, we now need to make contents mutable in order to modify it. The last step we need to do is create some HTML files in order to test that this is working correctly. We create an index.html, so will be our home page. We create a link to another page that we will also create. So we add also a hello-world HTML file. And if everything is working as expected, start your server and head to your browser. There you have it.